This is how we do a map test on a Chromebook. First of all, students must be logged out, so they have to click that red sign out button so they get to the login page, but they do not need their school email to log in. We're gonna to go to the bottom corner and we're gonna click on apps. And then there's a little NWEA prompt. We click on that and we get this white screen. So this is gonna load and there's hardly ever errors here. So what we're doing is we're opening a secure testing browser. Then we're going to add a session name and a session password. These will be prompted from your map test login when you create that as a teacher. So you have to do your teacher steps first to create your test session. If you're doing this with younger students, you can prompt them to click to make the orange box appear and then you type in the session name and that can be something that you set. The session name doesn't change. The session password does change if you go back into this another day. So just so you know that, you, and again, you get that data from the test session that you create. Now, when we click on here, there's gonna be a student. And so I click on my student and then I select a test. Now, if you've done it right, there should be already be a test in there that you have chosen to give to the kids. You click the green button or the student clicks the green, green button. As a teacher, you might wanna just go around and make sure this is okay. And now at this point, you are having all the kids wait until they get that paper clip and the please wait message. So now we're back on the teacher screen. And so teachers, you can see here that it says to be confirmed. This might be like 17 or 25 if it's your whole class, um, but it could be as few as one student. So we've just done one student. So now the teacher comes to their page, click refresh and any new students that are ready will load. And then we click confirm. And so then the student will see some changes on their end. So now we're back on the student Chromebook and you can see that now they have a blue arrow. So at this point, the student clicks the blue arrow and in a quick minute, they are in the test. And what you need to know is that every student is going to have a different question. Some students will get short questions like this to start. Some will get longer questions. A really good strategy is to have the kids read the question first. They pick their answer and then down at the bottom, they go to the arrow they can't go back once they pick a question. This is a good example where it helps to read the question first. The question always is in bold right above the four answer choices. So if they read this first, that would help them be able to know what to do with that random list of words above. Again, once they pick an answer, they click below and they can go to the next question. As a teacher, as you walk around, you can see what questions students are on. Uh, you can also double check, let's say you have uh, students with the same first initial last name, like uh, siblings or twins, you can make sure that they have the right test. Uh, the numbers here should be the last, or the numbers in their email address. So that's how you can check if kids with similar names have the right test. When the students get to the end of the test, it's very important that they click all of the blue arrows that exist, especially in the K-2 to test. There's a little puppy that comes on the screen. There's a blue arrow in the bottom corner and then another blue arrow. So they have to click till there's no more blue arrows or their test won't show up as completed and you'll have to go in manually to all of their tests and click those arrows. When they do that, they should end up at this login screen again. To get out of this login screen on the kids Chromebook so that they can do something else, you click Shift, Alt and the letter K and that will return you to the main screen. Shift plus Alt plus K, hold those down all at the same time. If you need more help, contact one of your instructional coaches.